everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a film review on Maximum Ride by James Patterson. So I knew about this film for quite a while because there was some news about it about a year ago and I was really excited about it since this is one of the book series that really got YA started, at least in my opinion. I've always seen it in bookstores and it's always been such a prominent novel, especially because it's by James Patterson in the young adult world. And everybody always talks about it. It's such a big thing in, you know, our community. So when it was said that it was becoming a movie, I was really excited. And I know a lot of you guys were too because this is like your childhood as well because these are like not the oldest books ever but they are older compared to some other young adult fiction that has come out more recently and this is so cool like finally it gets its own film and I cannot wait to discuss it with you guys right here right now so let's get started this is gonna be a non-spoiler review because I do not want to spoil it for you guys because I really want you guys to watch this film as well just because I enjoyed the film guys I really did and I want you guys to enjoy it as well without any spoilers floating around in your noggin this video is sponsored by Paramount and I cannot wait to get into the details with you guys, but not too many details since it's spoiler free. Gotta remember that. So the whole entire cast of this film were so cool. I love the whole entire idea of a gang of genetically altered kids living together after escaping the school, like what that's what they call it, which is the facility that they came from, and then growing up together and trying to escape these people who still want to catch them years later. I love that idea, and I've always thought that that was so cool about this novel. And they did it very well in the book series, let me just tell you that. They introduced you to these kids by opening up a scene to them in the past, and then they thrust you into the future in the next scene and it was really well done the transition to that because you want to know more about these kids but they still had that veil of mysteriousness over this whole entire movie that you do like you do want to know more about these kids but you do not want all the information to be thrown at you all of a sudden and they did that really well in this film you kind of already know all the roles that these characters are going to play just by getting introduced to them right away you know that max is the leader of these ragtag bunch of kids and you know that she is going to protect them no matter what and you know that Fang is kind of like her co-pilot in the sense. He is there for her and for the kids and he will always stand true to her because she, to him, is the leader of this group. And I have a feeling they like each other. I love Fang. Can we just like get that out of the way? I loved Fang. Fang was such a great character. His acting skills were phenomenal. I know that he was in a few films before this so getting to see him in this as one of the beloved characters in Young Adult Fiction was really cool and he did a very great job portraying the character and he was very level-headed. He was very grounded and he was so loyal. I'm like, I want a guy like that. But he was so amazing and I really loved watching his character progress throughout this whole entire film. Max as well. Max was a very interesting character from the start. She was very hard-headed. She was like, this is what we need to do to stay safe. And when things went awry, she was right on top of it. She went out and got Angel. That's a whole entire basis of the story is that Angel, the youngest of everybody in this like group of kids, got taken by these people called the Erasers. And they are kind of like these mutant, like kind of werewolf-esque people people that have super strength and they are hell-bent on getting these kids back to the school. And they get Angel and that's not good. And Max, she instantly knows what to do. She's like, we need to get them no matter what. So she goes out with Fang to get Angel. And lots of crazy stuff happens on the way that had me like on the edge of my seat because I'm like, we need to get Angel! Time's running out! I just love the whole entire aspect of that. And the movie wasn't even that long and they still were able to get such a thorough story progression out so the audiences are content with everything that happens. I also really love how Jenna Marbles and this executive producer of this film, like that was really neat. Yeah! And surprisingly, for a film that is not in theaters, Okay, so it turns out it is going to be in theaters on September 30th, so I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna go see it on the big screen now. But it will be on iTunes on August 30th, so you can still see it earlier before it gets out of theaters, which is really exciting. It is really well done. Like, I was surprised by some of the sets because the sets were very, really good. Like, I was very impressed by the sets. I hope that if it does become another movie and stuff, it will become in theaters because this is such a great story that needs to be, like, shouted from the rooftops, in my opinion. And I'm really excited to see where this gang is going to be headed. I really love the whole entire group of kids though. I think that they're so unique, so diverse. But yes, all in all, I did enjoy this movie and I thought it was really cool how they had wings and how they were genetically modified and altered and how there's this huge government faction coming 
at them. I think it's part of the government, is it? I don't know. Guess we're gonna find out in the next movie. I'm so excited. The end of the film was so gripping and I just want to know more. And this movie has definitely made me want to read the whole entire series. So I'm really excited for this film. It comes out on August 30th. You can get it on iTunes and links will be down below if you want to go check them out, especially for the books if you have not read them yet. I definitely say go give it a shot and I hope you guys enjoy it because I know I enjoyed it. It was really a fun movie that really got you thinking about all these crazy things that could be happening in our government, in our world, but we would never know. I've been watching way too many conspiracy videos, guys. It's It's been bad. Yeah, but this would be such a cool conspiracy theory. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!